I think lambing's officially started. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Are we gonna have a baby? Uh, yeah. Nice. Good girl. Anyone lose a baby? <laughs> Seemed like a good idea five months ago, didn't it? My name is Sandy. I'm going to be your nurse for the evening. Good afternoon, Mom. So you have your hands full. Thank you for feeding everybody breakfast this morning. That was lovely of you. Ah. Like it's really panting. Like huge. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi, mama. This whole circumstance is going to need some explanation because uh, this is some management problems right here. So it begins. Let's get you warmed up. Okay, unfortunately, we became an expert at this in the last lambing. Yep, not even registering. So, we will put you in a bath and then we will warm you up. Uh, let's put you on medium, warm you up. Okay. Baby in the bath. So, we just put the baby in a um, glove and into the water, and that's so it keeps all its cleaning still all over it. And uh, we'll just get its temp even up a little bit, and then we're going to put it on the heating pad. And then when it's 37 degrees, you guys should be experts at this. Um, when it's at 37 Celsius, then I can either feed it colostrum out of the bottle or I'll, or I'll have to tube it. But the goal is to hopefully reunite uh, it back with mom because mom's got quite a bit of milk and these lambs are really small. And this is so yellow. All right, we got our lamby out of the water. The water's getting kind of cool, so I don't want it to catch a chill. Just gonna dry off a little bit. There might be a fighting chance. It's got some fight. Put little Missy. Miss? Are you a miss? You are a miss. A little miss. I'll put you up here. Hi! And then I'm gonna wrap you in this one. There she be. So we're just gonna let her temp get up, if it will. And, uh, try to save the slam. Uh, what had happened, uh, obviously these ewes uh, didn't come over to this barn until like the end of January, early February. Uh, so they were in the market pen for way longer than I ever do. I usually take them out at about 12 weeks, eight, uh, 10 to 12 weeks. So uh, that's what happens when you uh, change your plans. Uh, sheep apparently can get pregnant at a very young age, legit like teenage pregnancy. So not ideal. Entirely my fault, and that is why farmers typically separate their ewe lambs and their uh, ram lambs, because uh, they can mature pretty fast. Look at that. Hasn't even been like 15 minutes. That's crazy. That's good. We caught you just in time, little muffin. You only have to go half a degree. Okay, little miss is making a lot of noise. Hi. You're so cute. I'm gonna need you baby in your blankie, okay? Yeah. Hi, do you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Are you hungry? Should we feed you now? Oh, should we feed you? Should we? Oh yeah, okay. Might have to tube ya, but I'd rather do it this way. Your mouth is much warmer than it was. Mmm, I don't know. Oh. Music to my ears. Good baby. Is that enough for now? I'd say that's pretty good. That was half. 
So that's 75 mils. That is amazing. Oh, hi. You just gonna come to life? You just gonna come to life? Well, hello. How are you doing now? Nah. Hey, got a little more strength? Nah. We drank a full bottle. Well, not full, like, we drank a portion, a full portion. A little wobbly. We'll go back with mom until you get those legs working. Nah. Yeah. Should we go see if she'll take you back? Should we see if she'll take you back? Hey guys, you look happy. What do you think? That's your baby. That's your baby. Just have to keep an eye. She's not being mean to it, but she also is not sitting still for the other two. And sometimes that can happen. They might not be mean, but they can be very unsettled and not let the other ones that she does love drink. got some lambing pens set up here and I opened this up so these guys have access to wind around and when they start lambing it's easier easier for us to kind of corral them down here and then through the little pathway and then we open up the lambing pens and let them in hey mama all right I've got to give you a little shot <laughs> Watch your babies. Watch your babies. Watch your babies. Oh, oh. Oh, you're so cute. Sorry, Mom. Hi, baby. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? A few things about this ewe. Uh, because she hasn't been in the program, she hasn't been sheared, she hasn't been hoof trimmed, and um, what's the other thing? She hasn't been vaccinated. So what's gonna have to happen, these little lambs, I will have to vaccinate them directly. They're so cute. It's funny, the first lambs, you're just like, you wanna sit for hours and just stare at them. And then the last lamb, you're like, oh my God, I'm so glad we're done. And you run to the house. Well, I uh, was just coming out to the barn here to check that you with her lambs and make sure she had some water. We have a little surprise, of course, the day we finish hay. Okay, because uh, that's a ewe lamb, she won't follow, she's too scared of me. So we're gonna put this one in the lambing pen. I'm gonna use a gate to uh, bring them up. You guys usually don't see me do this, so thought I'd show you what I do with all my ewe lambs, because uh, they won't follow the lamb. I'm too scared. Good little baby. You're good, Mama. Good. Good girl. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You should be. Relax. for a bit. I'm going to turn off 
Yeah. Yuck. It drank about 50 to 75 mils, so it's probably okay. And I'm not sure if it already hasn't known where everything is. But I may just shut off these fans. It's cool enough tonight that uh, I just wonder, because it's wet, she hasn't licked it off. I just don't want it to get chilled. Like, this could cause a draft for sure. I think lambing's officially started. Show the people how good you look. Look how good I look. You gotta get tagged today. Yes, you do. You already want nothing to do with me because you got a mom. That's fine. It's fine, I understand. Our little one from last night is doing great. They are bonded nicely. She's been drinking. She? It's a she. These guys are doing amazing. She still hasn't cleaned, so this will be day three for her getting treated. Um, lambs are doing really well. They're going to need to get tagged today. Um, and I might leave them in here until I move all these guys. I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to move them just right in here. I don't know if Mama's going to have another one. I'm going to let her be for a bit and just keep an eye on her. I like it if she lambs. She's a mature you. She should be able to do it on her own. Just was in the other... Oh, Mama. Aww. I think that was a Tunis. Very dead. Very, very dead. I should have checked you, I guess, eh? Yeah. So we had another one. Number three was alive. Number two was not. Okay. I don't know if it's a dirty or if it's a tunis. Could be just dirty. Good job, Mom. I thought you were done. Should have checked you for a third. Should have checked you for more. for another one, Mama. Oh yeah, right there. We got a foot, we got a head. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, beautiful! Hi! <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Good girl, those are your babies. I think that's it. I think that's it. So, nice set of twins. First time mama. And I think she's gonna be okay. Morning, you guys. It is Monday. Tomorrow is the official due date on these ladies, but some decided to come a bit early. That's fine. Planting is finished, 
so they have my full attention. She has cleaned. This mama I am so happy with. She was so nervous yesterday. And look at that. Glorious. Well, we just had shift change and Carissa had a set of twins that now look like a set of three. Good morning. It's a little single here. I'm gonna come back to them. I think I saw in the cameras a ewe and a lamb at the very back. Had a little mini me. Officially the first day of lambing and we are greeted with uh, two really nice singles and I remember when these guys got scanned. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of singles So we may see some triplets and singles and at the end of the day We will be lucky if we have two lambs per you I have to say this lambing starting out a lot better than the last one. So we will take that win interesting We have another oopsie baby and it's Adorable, but I don't know whose it is because there's no one around it. Anyone lose a baby? Good morning, little dog. Who do you belong to? You are so cute. Who's your mommy? Who's your mommy? No one's blaming you. How could that possibly be? You don't look very sad, so someone's been feeding you. So I found a sibling. But I don't know who they belong to. I found mom. <laughs> I did wonder if it was her. She was making a little bit of noise when I first got out here this morning. She's nowhere near her lambs. Um, it's one of my Billy twins, but she's not a fan right now, that's for sure. What'd you do? <laughs> Seemed like a good idea five months ago, didn't it? Well, little lady, it is time. We need your pen. Come on. Come on, your mommy's looking for you. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Okay, um, I moved that one mama out and she had already popped this one out. So that was amazing. Love it when they do it on their own. Um, this one has been laying down and pushing, but nothing's coming out. So I'm not really sure how long she's been doing that. I didn't really see her this morning when I was getting those lambs into here. So I'm gonna do a quick internal. I'm, if it's coming the right way, I won't bother her because I think it might be a ewe lamb. I, I'm pretty sure it's a ewe lamb. And I don't want to traumatize her. Okay, I think I'm just going to help because it's right here. And I don't want to walk away and have issues. That's a good sign. Sometimes I like them to get the scent of the lamb. Those are your babies. Are we going to have a baby? You are. It's right there. You just have to. You just have to push a couple times. I'm just gonna grab a foot. Yeah, you can do the work. You're doing good. That's your baby. Good girl. Good girl. You did that. You did that. Yes, you did. That's your baby. Your baby girl. Yeah. 
Says you have two. I'm gonna let, give you time though, because I don't feel anything yet. Okay. Oh, this one had another one. Mama, what did you just spit out? Oh, hello. Good girl. Wow, that was amazing. She's an amazing mom. She always does this when I go to do something else. She spits out a lamb. This mama here uh, did amazing. She uh, loved it as soon as it came out. I sometimes like doing that, getting the scent of the lamb just on my glove and then putting it up to their nose and see how they react. If they like go nuts to your glove, like try to eat your glove, you know it's gonna be a good bond. It's just a little trick that I've learned. Um, if they want nothing to do with you, then just play it cool with her because uh, she could be pretty leery. This one's not. She's watching all this happen, so I'm wondering if it's starting to clue in upstairs. She's a mom. Do you know your mommy yet? I was able to get about uh, 150 mils into them between the two of them. So um, that makes me feel a little bit better. It buys us a little bit of time for mom to get chilled out here. Alrighty then. You see another one. Hey, look what you did. That's what you just did. You did that. Three. Well, these ewes have certainly got the memo that lambing has started. Um, we've had a few more little surprises since I last talked to you guys, which wasn't very long ago. We're filling up. Okay, I do want to show you something. Carissa found another little straggler that I did not see this morning. So this little mama had three. We found this one. Is that your baby? The other one that just slammed is this older you. She's a 2016. Um, not looking great. She has herniated this side, so it's really droopy. She does have milk, but uh, yeah, she had a set of twins here. So we've been supplementing. I did give these guys some colostrum as well, but uh, yeah, mom's looking kind of tough. Behind you. Mm -hmm. What do you got happening there? Hello, gorgeous. Are you having a baby? I know. Wow. Hi, baby. Where are your gloves, kids? This one's backwards. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna get gloves. I just didn't know she was in danger. 
Okay. You, are, it's coming. It's coming, but it's gonna take a bit. So, I'm gonna let her work away. I'm gonna move them, because it's not as clean here. So, let's do that, kids. Okay, Mama, I know you're gonna follow. Number three. Oh, it's so cute. There you go, little girl. Good job. You're such a good one. Beautiful set of three. I'm not your mom. I'll go get you milk, though. Oh, brother. Not another one. You guys. Well. You're a good mom. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, little mama has milk. I, I've seen the lamb up and drinking. I'm gonna try to top it up just in case. But uh, what a great little mom. She's got milk. We'll take it. Okay, whoa. Did you run away? Yeah, you ran away. It's not your mom. Your mom's busy. Number two. You need to stay close. Good afternoon, Mom. So you have your hands full? Those are huge. Well, literally born knowing what to do. That's beautiful. That's so nice. It's making a lot of noise. So we have four lambing right now. Four. One, two, three, four. Stop! Stop feeling! Oh my goodness, I gotta separate them. No. 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 There. There, two to love. Good job. So we got some twin lambings happening here. <laughs> I think she's having a second. She's having a first. What have we got going on over here? What color are we? You look so chill, Mama. Oh my goodness. There, Mom. 
What you do there? It's a girl. check her for a third, but we have two. She's marked for two. She had three marked for two. She's marked for two. She's had a giant. So she could have another one in there, but I'm going to leave her for a bit. I want to check the one down there making a lot of noise. She had two in that time. Good girl. These views are amazing. Good job. Do you have another one? She's totally in position. Just spew out another one. That has been a day. 26 lambs, I think, is my count so far out of 13 ewes, which is two lambs per ewe, which is amazing. A lot of these girls, I think, today, there was a few older ones, but definitely this afternoon, these were all, I think, first time lambers, so they did really well. Nice sized lambs, uniform, big, and uh, up and doing well. And just when I thought lambing was done for the day, it's not. You having another one? Well, another three-peat. These mummies are outdoing themselves today. We will take it. So that's 29 lambs today. Beautiful. Looks like I have to get to work.
Okay. This is kind of a good news story. So little mama has accepted the white one and the fluffy black one. So they would not drink for me this morning. The black one drank about a hundred. But the little straggler we found later drank um, drank 200 mils. So I, and she's really uneasy with this one, but she's actually really calm around these guys now. So quite likely this will be our bottle baby. surefire way to get lambs is to start doing another job. I was trying to get my nanny up and going and I think three are lambing or have lambs. There's lambs everywhere. Don't run away little one. Don't run away little one. One there, one there. She's gonna have another one I'm pretty sure. Two here I think. Oh just one. I think she's having another one there. Two here and she's having another one as we speak. Let's check you, Mama. <laughs> no, nope, that's it. One more to check. Yeah, right there. Hi, baby. Hi. This mama had, I think she had three. She was marked for two, but she only had one. So as long as one of these didn't run away and ended up with her, um, then I think she had three, but one was still born. I totally thought it was alive when it came out. Just, you, you assume that all of them are alive. Uh, so this one is just stuck with one. All the triplets were born this morning. Um, I don't, I think it's too late to grab one and try to foster. I should. Okay, we're getting dangerously close to yesterday's totals. I think we're at 27 lambs now. Mama! Whoa. It's a day of triplets. We actually pretty much refilled a lot of these claiming pens one more time. I want to have at least 25 on this side. Um, I think we're up to 24 and then I'll just move one of the ones that land today. I'll move them over here tomorrow, um, which I did already. Pretty much all these pens on that side were full and I moved them all into the empty spots here because we emptied some out this morning and put them in the, uh, the open area with their babies. So. I think that's kind of, we're just trying to keep everything moving and organized, but I think by Friday we should have this whole uh, section opened up for babies and mamas, which is always kind of fun. Um. Cause she was lambing, that's why. Can you, can you? Oh, did you have a nice little ride there, buddy? Okay. Yeah, that's what you just had. Just when I think my day is over, more lamb. This would be 29. 29, two days in a row. Joking, we've had 30. She just had three. It is the day of triplets. Unreal. 
Hi, buddy. Morning, guys. It's Thursday. Thought I'd give you a little update before we went in today. We ended up with 33 lambs, I think, yesterday because we had three more after after I showered, after I got my pajamas on, and that was like 9.30. I'm like, oh no. So I ran back out. I'm glad I did because there was a ewe trying to steal, um, and we ran into that yesterday morning here. So that is the update. I think we ended up with 33 lambs yesterday, which is crazy. <laughs> that is the stealer. Had it again. Yeah, Mama. What are you saying? Starting? Finished? I don't see a little one. What's up? Oh, you got a little something. Alright, Mama. Oh, you just need a little tiny little pop. Yeah, it was stuck. Hey, are you okay? You okay? Ended up helping that one. The head was in that canal for too long. It's starting to, it was starting to swell and the tongue was sticking out. So, we just needed a tiny little pull. That's your baby. That's what you did. Right there. Where do you want it? Where do you want it? This is yours. Yeah. So my camera died. I wasn't sure if you guys saw this or not, but we had two. Now I think I'm gonna see what's going on with her. So same thing, both feet and a nose, but it's, it feels like a really big lamp. One foot. Uh, Two feet. Uh, Baby. Hi. Hi. You are huge. Uh, this is your baby. That's why it's hard to get out. Uh, it's not grown. single. You're a single Pringle. So when we feed, it's a good time to see who's looking close to lambing. We got two lambing right now. This one's pushing real hard, nothing coming out. So I'm going to do an internal on in her because good chance it could be malpositioned. Backwards. Are you sure? Or maybe not. It felt like a bomb, but it's, it's neck. We've got like five lambing at the same time right now. Four for sure. So this one I just brought up. This one's lambing. She's not quite dilated. That one's lambing, not quite dilated. I think she's pretty freaking close though. This is the one I just pulled with Carissa. And we got its airway cleared out, everything good. I went back to get another ewe because she was lambing and when I got back it had died. So, but if we have some triplets, I can maybe put one on. Alright, let's see what you're doing. Right there. One. Chrissa, 
Max, can I borrow you again? I just need you to keep pressure on these legs. Because the head's right here. I just need to... So if you can go on this side of her. And just keep pressure on the legs. You don't necessarily have to pull. I just have to pop this. Just. She oh, just was really tight. She was dilated, but there it is. Feet there. get you guys caught up here. We just pulled. It took two of us to pull this one out. So we've been working away at helping mama and baby recover. Slowly. This one had a single. Big pull. You did this one all on your own. Thank you. Single. This one was a big pull. Single. Two here. Three here. Two here. And that was all, what, in the last hour? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys did a lot of work. It's a good thing you're cute. So now, we wait for her. crazy. Every day's been crazy and today actually less lambs but more work. Uh, quite a few that were stuck, quite a few that just didn't dilate, um, but this afternoon they've been a lot better. I uh, just had two really nice set of twins and I wasn't sure if they would um, deliver in time. I actually got asked to go out for supper tonight with some friends. We booked it ages ago and I was like, ah, oh, June 9th. Lambing starts June 7th. It won't be too crazy by June 9th. We're literally, we're, we're gonna be soon half done here. So, uh, famous last words from Sandy. Okay, not really sure if I'm ready for this. Okay, you got one. 
I see legs down there, but she has not land. So I think Mama had two there. We have two here. Okay. Morning's gonna come real quick. It is uh, almost 10.30. The ones I brought up are amazing, good moms, everybody's happy, but I had to bring two more up that were lambing. And uh, this one, no problem, we got it pulled. This one was barely dilated, but the lamb was right there. And I had to call Jess for assistance because after how many pulls I've had with Carissa today, I can't like grip and pull at all. My hands are numb. I have no strength left in them. So anyway, it is a beautiful, healthy, I didn't even look what it was, a boy or a girl, but we have a beautiful, healthy lamb and mom is up. I think that's it for the night. These ladies are gonna have to wait till morning and I just hope I don't miss my alarm. Friday. Um, I really thought this morning would be quiet just because I was out here for so late last night. Uh, but what I do find is if you're out later than the use are used to and the lights are on for a different length of time, it screws up their rhythm somehow. And uh, now, luckily, most of these are still really fresh, so they were probably born between three and four, a lot of them. There was two ewes with dry lambs, so I would say they probably lambed shortly after I left last night. Um, one of them is this one, and of all the ones that could easily service three lambs, she will only accept one. So whether these two got mixed up last night, um, I don't know. So about this ewe, uh, I don't know if you see that, but check out the size of those puppies. You figured those out? Kind of big. So I haven't actually seen this lamb on it yet. And usually when an udder's that low and a lamb's that big and the teats are that fat, it's usually not real good sheep math. So luckily for me, I still have my um, utterly easy milk machine. I'm gonna use that instead of just squeezing them by hand. She's full of milk. I'm gonna see how much milk we get here and then I'm gonna use that milk to supplement all these lambs that were born this morning. So we're gonna be busy here for the next little while. Okay, so we fill up one from the one side. So that is 300 mils. Okay, we'll do the other side. Stop. Okay. Got another one. Thank you for feeding everybody breakfast this morning. That was lovely of you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, lovely. Uh, 
Yeah, you did good. Chris and I were just talking. She did a quick count this morning, so I just did one too. We are well over halfway done, and it is Friday. So I think 65 of lambs so far. I don't have the count on the lambs, but yesterday uh, we had 38 lambs born. Well, look at you. Still not drinking out of mom. Will you ever? <laughs> will you ever let her drink? What are you doing? Look at that face. <laughs> yeah. My babies. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's slowing down, but that might not be true. This morning was a lot less crazy than yesterday morning, but um, it was good because I had a lot I had to tag. I don't think I've ever been using so many lambing pens at one time. Now we did take a lot down this morning, um, but I am wondering, it's getting a little tight, a little snug on this end. Uh, I'd like every you to be able to have a, a, a place where ewes aren't bothering them. And for the most part, when a ewe is lambing, the, the ewes tend to kind of leave them be and squish to one end. But I do have room, I have room on that side, and I did it on purpose, that I could shut that water gate and give those guys that whole other quarter to just hang out. So I'm thinking I might do that now, and, um, and then if... If there's more room after I can let some of these gates down, then I can always move them back over here. So I think I might do that just for some more room for lambing. So now they think they all have to go over there. <laughs> Grass is always greener on the other side. But that will open this up a little bit. I might as well see if you have another lamb. What do you think? Oh, hey, little lamby. You know what? I'm gonna let you progress. Cause you got that one out. And I'll check you later. Okay. So I checked this one, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, 20 minutes ago, and she lambed on her own. Imagine that. Now, I don't think she's got a crazy amount of milk yet, but sometimes they come into it after they lamb. Yeah. So we'll just be keeping an eye on them, but I might feed them a bottle. So the people, what you got going on here? We don't like that. Really? 
There you go. The baby. <laughs> Another shift change, so we're sitting in around 7 o'clock, and Carissa had three more lambs. Two ewes, looks like a big giant single, holy. And then uh, a set of twins across the way there. She's on deck. It looks like we've had a lot today. I don't think we've had as many as yesterday. Wow, we had 34 today already, and there's one lambing. So she's probably at least got one, so that'll be 35, probably 36. So we have had another record day. Yesterday was 38, day before was 33, day before that was 29. It's been a busy week. We have more lambs than that, because we had the ones before lambing started. But yeah, still a lot. So I'll have to take all these guys tomorrow. I've still got a few that were born late yesterday, so I left them in the pens for another 12 hours, and then I'll put them back, I'll put them out. I'll probably tear some of these actually down in the morning and let them have um, a little more space at the end. How are you making out? We got this under control. We've got a leg and a head. So it should be okay. Come on. Another push. Good girl. Mama had twins. So I think that makes, does that make 36 for today? I think, crazy, another big day. Good morning, it's Saturday. Nice set of twins and a huge single with a huge mama. I never understand why the great big, we've had like, a lot of singles have come from great big mamas that should have four. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. Very good. Mama. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we're officially done like the big days of tagging because we don't have as many born today. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lambs today. I thought I'd fill you guys in on how many we're sitting at right now. Uh, it's right around two lambs per year. So 152 lambs have been born and that's including everything, the stillborns. Um, out of 74 ewes. So I believe that's just over two, like 2.05 lambs per ewe. I've got a couple ewes fighting, which means they're fighting for a spot, which might mean they're gonna start lambing here. We're like half an hour from shift change, and I think Chris is gonna take the whole night shift for me, which is amazing. Ruby Sue, are you gonna have your baby today? Let's see you there. Uh oh. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. I was about a half an hour later than I usually get out here, and I looked at the cameras and I was like, "Oh, good. There's a mama with twins. There's a mama with singles. They're kind of actually. I only saw the mama with twins." And they were all together, I'm like, perfect. So I kind of just took my time getting ready, getting my boots on, making my coffee. And then I came out here, and the cameras are good, but they don't, I can't see up close if there's a head sticking out of a mama. And uh, I didn't see it. So it came out barely alive. I performed pretty much everything but CPR on the slam. And uh, I used the, the resuscitator. I was like pumping its chest. And it was, it was gasping as soon as it came out of her. A nice big lamb. The one good thing is this little ewe lamb had twins. She doesn't have a whole lot of milk and the twins are big and that one was really, really hungry. So I just, I put it right over onto the mom that lost the lamb and she's accepting it. She's really missing the other one. And I really wanted to get her while she still like really got her hormones. So the lamb, I always say this, lamb is 50% of the work and that lamb is aggressive. So I'm going to grab that lamb and rub it all over the, the, one, the one that didn't make it. I'm going to rub it all over that and get what I can get. There's not much here in the way of cleanings. Like that's all she had. So there's nothing there to like rub on the lamb. It's a little bit of a consolation prize, but I just checked the cameras from the house and I think someone very special just lamb, but I'm not sure if it's her. Ruby Sue, is that you? It is you. What do you got there? Oh, you're such a good mom. What a good girl. Are you having none on your own? It's right there. Oh, she totally is just lambing on her own. You want to do it on your own, or you want me to have it? Good girl. Oh, Carissa! I wonder if it's a... We haven't decided what color it is yet. We're either looking a little suffolk or a little tunisy. I don't remember who I bred you to. But this is a girl. Good girl. She's really gotten friendly too. I know. Just like your mommy. A much slower day today, Sunday. We've only had one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's about four o'clock. I just finished tagging yesterday. So look how empty we're getting. 83 have lambed. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 total have lambed, and I think there's 120 in this group, or right around there, just maybe shy of that. Oh boy. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. That's a good girl. She almost had it. She had two feet and the nose. But I had to like stretch her cervix to get that head out. So she's in a bit of pain. I'm gonna give her a 
to Medicaid on pain clinic. Get her feeling better. What's going on with you? Okay. All right, Mama. Taking too long. You literally just needed a couple pushes. Good girl. I love it when they're right there. There you go. Lovey. Good boy. I think she wanted me to help. Right. Big push. No, you gotta push one more time, Mom. I looked, I was like almost in tears of Chris and she's like, it's a Monday. I'm like, it is beyond Monday. It's like the Monday of the year. These feet are huge. This thing is like half grown. There's another one here, right there. Get this one if you need that one. Can you get it? Yeah, that's it. Look at her one. Sorry about your eyeball. She kept sucking the head back in. Yeah. That's it. morning guys uh, barely morning it's almost noon so this being the Mondays of all Mondays I woke up this morning late again so I'm gonna have to set my alarm I usually don't have to set it but I think it's been busy enough that I'm getting tired um, anyway so uh, open the door let the dogs out and they immediately both got sprayed by a skunk I did never did see the skunk so we're gonna set the live trap tonight so that's how the morning started and then I was just talking to Mark and he said he's had a heck of a go with the grain the grain elevator as well. So I think we're just having the Mondays of Mondays. Um, and we sometimes need these to remember that there are days that are actually pretty uneventful and we just take them for granted. I think our day is about to turn around. What did you have over there? Are you protective? Okay. All right, let's go. Oh boy. I think we have another oopsie. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi. What are you saying? Okay, the good thing about putting them here, I could shut that gate so they're right here. And the pens are right here, so I just move this U over to there. 
And I took this down, and I'm just going to open this little gate a little bit. Hopefully Mama will follow. She might not, but hopefully. Stay. You guys, we're gonna have quite a few bonus lambs this go around because we have yet another oopsie baby. Oh man. This is where we moved the little second little oopsie beside its friend. So again, I just opened this up, brought them in through the back door here. Be curse of bed and sleepy. Ah. Hey baby, you're so sleepy. Ah. These black ones are so quiet. Just sweethearts. Ah. Hi. Ah. You have four there. Ah! Yeah, four. Ah! Good morning, little cutie. Hi. Ah! Is that yours? Ah! Ah! Morning, guys. It is, uh, I think it's Thursday and I kind of thought lambing was in reprieve yesterday there was nothing all day not in the morning not all day I came in here last night at 9 10 to 9 to uh, feed my bottle lamb here and these mums had both lambs she had a set of twins one was uh, stillborn this one I had a set of twins and they were good I brought everybody in I fed everybody um, and this ewe is such a small, she's just a ewe lamb, first timer, and she was so small that I never even thought to check for more. I always check for more, so, um, but she had two decent sized lambs, I'm like, yeah, she's, she's good. She had two more, probably right after I left, because they're, they're all cleaned off and dry and happy looking. So anyway, some surprise quads, but, uh, I'll get them. I'll grab a bottle cloth from, but everybody looks like they've drank. They look content, but at least make sure this one's drank because mom seems nervous. You're very hot. You love her. Got to figure it out. Carissa found another little lamb who we thought was maybe an oopsie lamb. Turns out it was the you that lambed the little one at four this morning. I found it at four this morning and the lamb had wandered off and it got in the wrong pen. It looks suspiciously a lot like the lamb that the ewe had this morning when I first came out here. So uh, I tried to reintroduce them and she was beating the crap out of it. So that means we have a new little baby. What are we doing here? Are you hot? What are you doing? You do feel hot. What are you doing? 
you, Bubba. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're panting like crazy. Are you hot? Really panting. I'm actually gonna. I might just cool it off with some. Like, it's really panting. I've had cold lambs, but I've never had a lamb do this. So I have a pail of not cold and not hot water. It's like lukewarm. And I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna do what we did to warm up the lamb, only I'm gonna try and cool it off a little bit. So I don't want it to get wet and chilled. Yeah, I'm just gonna cool you off. I'll see if this works anyway. Like swimming. There. Could be just something wrong with it too, I'm not sure. Should have took its temp just for curiosity. You looked fine earlier, you were sleeping. Alright, okay, let's see what your temp is. 42. That's pretty warm, I'd say, for a lammy. An optimal temp, normal body temperature for lambs is 102 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. So 42 Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's 100, and, almost 108. So massively heated up. So I think we're doing the right thing. I might actually make it a little cooler. Wow, you guys. I'm definitely not the smartest one in the world, but we dipped it back in and we put some more, we put colder water in and it's not panting. So that seems better. Can we check your temp again? <gasps> well, that sounds a little better. Let's check its temp. 41.3. So that came down quick. And you're happier. You just came to life. Temperature is everything with a lamb. You saw this lamb, right? It hasn't even been... So there you go, you can warm them up and cool them down. Imagine that. And you don't know anything unless you check. Trust me, I'm a slow learner. All right, let's see. Goodness gracious. Magic. Look at that. We successfully drank. <laughs> what do you think of that? We drank, wow, almost 200 mils. 150 for sure. Just amazing. You just amaze me. Look at that. Perfectly normal. Isn't that amazing? We just saved your life! The problem is in the bottle pen, in any pen, the lambs, if you look in my barn, they have a, they've got a ton of room. But lambs, I think no matter what, in the heat, in the cold, any time at all, they like to feel touch of another lamb or a, or a mum. And especially in the bottle baby pen, they're always like on top of each other. And I think she just got overheated. Okay, this morning you were laying by yourself like a good girl. Then I think everyone wanted to snuggle with her, and uh, she overheated. You got loved almost to death. What do you think of that? I'm not very happy about that. All right, we're going to put her back. Hopefully she keeps her distance. Go right there. You.
ladies, which is lovely. Um, I was thinking that we would have a week reprieve. Apparently my use, this you anyway, as uh, not playing by the rules. I hope there's more that's gonna join her or she's gonna have a very lonely pen by herself. Morning guys, it is uh, Wednesday. It's actually a big day today. It's Jack's graduation day today. He graduates college. So um, I was hoping I was gonna have a nice, quiet, quick morning. Um, I was gonna tag my little lammies that were born the other day, right there. I have treated a ewe that is just barely down, I think with preg talks. Uh, I just noticed in the last two days, she's been getting really, really slow getting up. So yesterday she was even harder to get up, so I started treating her with all the stuff. Uh, she's still eating and drinking, which is good, but I'm just, just started treating her regardless and I actually induced her today. So she should hopefully have babies in the next couple days. Everybody's full term now, so I'm not worried about early babies. Um, in saying all that, I could hear one really bellering and there's a certain sound when a ewe is in labor and you get to get to recognize it very quickly as a shepherdess and uh, yeah little lady over there decided to pick the hottest day to have her babies so she is pushing but nothing is happening so I need to check her mm -hmm. good girl good girl hi hi look at that mama that's yours Mm-hmm. Hi, baby. Ah. There's a boy. Good mommy. It was right there. One more push, Mom. Thank you. Another boy. Two big boys. Yes. Yes. And that's it. Good. Good, good, good. Well, we are back. It is, ooh, approaching eight o'clock, I think. We uh, had a great afternoon at Jack's grad. Um, yeah, so that's done. I have a kid that's graduated college. It seems weird and I don't know. Something about a graduation makes it all very official. Um, meanwhile, I've been checking my cameras and I believe we have a new arrival. I see you over there. Okay, I'm assuming this one's a first timer. She's crazy. Yeah, you are probably gonna rip my arm off. Just bracing myself here. My name is Sandy. I'm going to be your nurse for the evening. I'm going to be doing some work in the back end. I promise. It hurts me more than you. That's not a promise, actually. Sorry. I am going to leave her. Ooh, that's not a good sign. I want to get her to progress a little bit more. There you go. You get that whole pen to yourself. Yeah. 
she has not settled down at all. She hasn't laid down to push. She just keeps bellering, <laughs> causing yet another you to start bellering and beating up everybody in sight. That little man. I did get preg talks up though. Look. She's not moving too fast, but up on feet for a you with clinical preg talks is a big win. I think what I'll do is move this girl back in here. And I might move this one at least in here. She can maybe lamb in here tonight. Hey honey, I'm so proud of you. Look what we did. Twinners. And she was nervous. But everything seems to be okay. As soon as I got out of there, she started licking them. I got this you in this pen. And look what she's doing already. We saved the lamb. He's got a long road ahead of him. I can't believe he's alive, to be honest. Um, I'm just making a judgment call. I got, a, I got him all wrapped up here. His head is, it's making some noise, which is a good sign. Mom is not licking them off. I just fed the other one almost a full bottle. Um, so I'm just, I left it with her just cause it's got a full belly so it will stay warm. Um, but this one, I'm gonna take a temp just to make sure it's okay. I gave it some dexamethasone to get rid of that swelling in its head and if need be I'll just warm it up until it's until he's feeling better and the swelling goes down enough that I can feed it. Right now I can't feed him. He's too swollen. Like huge. A little cold. 35.9. So we got to get up to 37 anyway. He's almost there. So I got him on the uh, I'll put him on the heating pad here. Just to warm him up. I figured he was really shivering in there. And she wasn't doing her job, so I am going to do it for her. I know. We are going to get you feeling better. Feel how nice and warm that is. So I'm going to leave him in here till the swelling goes down. We've got a few hours, thank goodness, to uh, get that colostrum into him. What is that noise I hear? Gorgeous. How are you doing? Are you hungry? Should we try to feed you? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just got enough of the swelling out. Good boy. We have made so much progress with that little Billy lamb today. Uh, he's drank so far three bottles of 200 mils. So he's drank like 600 mils of colostrum, so he's amazing. Swelling's almost all gone. Uh, so I put him back with mom and she was beating it up. Hello, my darling. You're still not that strong on your legs. Are you? No, you can come with me. Yeah, you come with me. Yeah, she's not very nice. Look at his head though. It's getting there. Aren't ya? You all right? Did she hurt you? She looked like she was trying. Mm -hmm. Trying to make some friends, Billy? Mm -hmm. 
you're such a big boy. You're almost as big as them. I'll feed you in a sec. Little <gasps> oh, mama! Good girl! <laughs> so mama had three. One is stillborn. <laughs> but one is a bird. Oh! What do we got over here? Good morning! I think they're hers, not yours. She's a stealer. Okay, so... I got mom up, I tried to feed the babies three times, they would not drink out of a bottle. So I know they've been on her nipple, but she has no milk, like, I, I was squeezing and squeezing and there's nothing there, but I think they also have a bit of nipple confusion. So um, I just went with my gut and I tube fed them. So they have what they're supposed to have in that first few hours into their bellies. Um, and that makes me feel better because just because they won't drink out of a bottle doesn't necessarily mean they've had the food. I did take a temp in case they were starting to go backwards and they're, they're fine. So I'm not sure where they got the milk unless she miraculously had a little bit when she first lambed. They would not drink from me, so they are good. Mama is super depressed, which probably means she's going to lamb today, which would be ideal. And once she lambs, I think we're down to single digits. I think we only have 10 left right now. If my math is right, it's probably about four o'clock. I came in to feed those twins again with the Preg Talks mom and I treated Preg Talks mom again. And then I noticed that the Steeler mama from this morning is now officially in labor. So I wanna stick around, just make sure she uh, delivers okay. Or maybe I might have to help her. She's been kind of not progressing. There we go. Beautiful! Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so pretty. Hi. Beautiful. And it's a girl. So pretty. You got a little brown and silver. Just like you. It's a boy. It's exactly like, looks exactly like you. Hi, baby. Hi, mama. You have beautiful babies. Beautiful babies. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. morning guys it's Saturday and two more use of lamb which means I think I think we're down to seven left to lamb they should be lambing today tomorrow Monday Tuesday and then it should be pretty much done uh, as long as they're all pregnant one had a stillborn I'm not sure which one I'm kind of trying to see the coloring of these lambs but they look identical um, so the next thing I go by is size and the one looks very much like it should be a single. And this one's a little smaller. And of course I can't see your dot, so I don't know what you were planning to have, but she was kind of around it, this one, and the lamb's much smaller than that one. So I'm gonna, I'm guessing that the, uh, the twin belonged to this one. So I'm gonna just, they're kind of dry, so the dipping's a little late. Um, but I'm going to dip them anyway, and I'm going to bring a bottle because those two are going to need fed. Mama's still not up. I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on the uh, Preg Talks. Mom, I still can't get her up. 
and uh, the white one drank awesome again, so she's not feeding them. Um, the black one still will not drink out of the bottle. I'm so frustrated. So this is the like fifth or sixth time I've tubed this lamb. Well, I finally made a judgment call on this ewe. I took the babies out. I put them in the in the uh, bottle baby pen so as to get the white one switched over to the nanny as quick as we can because she's an amazing bottle drinker. The black one, we're going to have to keep working on. I'm probably going to be tubing it till whenever. I don't know. I can't give up on it. So I'm not entirely sure what to do. I gave it some thiamine this morning just to see if it is a neurological thing that might help. What are you doing? Did you get an eye? Did you get an eye? Really? You can't hog it. Muffin. Show everybody the poop. So you are drinking. Well, you're not drinking. I'm putting it down your throat. Yeah. Ew. 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 Do we have a suck yet? Do you have a suck yet? Anything? Good girl. Look, look. No tube. Thank you. You smell like vanilla pudding. <laughs> we'll see your sister. We'll see your sister. Hi, Billy. You're doing good too. Well, you are still up. Hi. You feel a little better? She has been up all morning. So I think maybe just pulling the lambs is a good idea. Okay. Good afternoon. It is Sunday. You haven't really missed much today. There was no lambs first thing this morning. However, I was sitting on the patio with my husband. Check my cameras because I said someone's making a lot of noise out there. And uh, sure enough, we have another lamb. Hi. What are you doing? You're acting suspicious. Good baby. Well, I guess I don't have to feed her. Him. So I think we're done. So I did check her for another one. I could not even get my hand in her, so I think she's already starting to um, close up here. So I would say she is going to be good with one. We've had a little confusion this morning. That one lambed over there that I checked last night. Didn't get up, this one stole it, but this one's in labor. So I am delivering these lambs. Baby. Here's your baby. You ready? There you go. You're your own little boy. There you go. 
Yes, you're welcome. Another one in there? Yep, right there. Okay. Good baby. Hi, welcome. Good morning. Good boys. That's a, that's a good girl. Hi. Good morning, you guys. Monday morning. We are on the second last official day of lambing, which to my body feels really glorious. Um, it's actually been a fairly slow weekend, but they've been kind of just trickling out nicely. So we had four, yes, four between yesterday and this morning. These two last night, and these two. Well, that one sometime this morning, and this one just now. So what had happened is I think this one had a probably a pretty hard delivery by the looks of how big those lambs are. I had to help her get up, so I, I was a little concerned she was in, like, pinch nerve, but she got up and she walked down here. So I put her in there, put her lambs with her, um, and then helped this one deliver a set of twin boys. So that, that can, that does happen. You've seen that happen. The one can be in labor and steal. Well, I mean, they don't even have to be in labor. They can just steal. And I'm not so sure those lambs have drank off her as well, but she looks to have good colostrum still. So I think we're down to three, maybe four. This makes me feel pretty good though. Good evening, it's been a day or so since I last picked up this camera. I just came in here tonight. It is Tuesday night, maybe uh, nine o'clock or so. I'm in my almost pajamas. No lambs today until literally I came in to check on a couple lambs and, uh, or supplement a couple lambs and you, just gave birth. Hi, Mama. Have a girl and a boy. Hi. Well, I'm not sure, but this very well might be my last two lambs. I don't know if that last you is pregnant or not. She looks awful big still. That one. <laughs> but um, her udder doesn't look crazy big, so we will see. So I'll keep you posted. The rest are not lamb. The two other ones don't have an udder at all, and the other ones have all aborted, like not aborted, but they've all uh, lost their lambs or something's happened. But look at what we ended up with. If these are our two last lambs, I cannot tell you how joyous that makes me. Two little bellies, one girl and one boy. She is pretty special. Good morning, it's Thursday. I want to give you guys an update on how we did on this group. Just looking quickly at the total, we had 236 lambs out of 119 ewes. So just, just almost at two lambs per ewe. I think it's like 1.98. The group felt really good. It was super chaotic and busy for a week, for like five days, um, which I kind of like. Both Chris and I really like that. We like just being in the groove and going. Let's go through these numbers. It says here I have 120 used that lamb, not 119. So I obviously mispainted. I go by my painting. So 236 lambs out of 120 ewes is 1.97 lambs per ewe. Uh, 24 didn't make it right off the bat. They didn't get a tag. So they died within that first 24 hours, uh, which is 10%. Stillborns out of the 24, 18 were stillborn. So that's, you know, that's almost 8% out of the 10%. The average weight was 10.15 birth weight. We had 42 singles. We had 44 sets of twins, 30 sets of triplets, and four sets of quads. I feel like it went well. I feel like I look out, they've got space, they've got room. Um, every lambing group I've done, 
uh, I've been trying to give them more and more room. I think we did all right. And I just thank you guys for being, for coming along for the ride. Exactly like you. you. Smell like vanilla pudding. Mm. 